What the hell is going on with the NHS? Now, this week, we hear more harrowing stories of people who would ordinarily be saved dying because of the interminable waits for ambulances. A 94-year-old man who waited five hours died. Yesterday, it was racism within the ranks. I'm loath to call it structural or institutional because nobody really knows what these terms actually mean. And by calling it one of these, it absolves the culpable of being racist of all responsibility and allows racist people to carry on with their racist practices and get away with it by blaming their behaviour on a structure or an institution. Sorry, I had to say that. And today, yet more bad news. This time, it's about waste. Apparently, one in ten prescriptions are for medicines that are no longer needed. Now, as I understand it, the main reason for this current hike in national insurance is to pay for the amount the government spent on the NHS during the pandemic. We are giving this money from our taxes in good faith to plug an apparent hole to keep the service going. However, I am sick and tired of finding out that the NHS is throwing our money at the wall, spending it like water because it's easy come, easy go. A bit like the BBC spending millions of we, the compulsory licence fee payers' money on things like research, asking us what we want to see on our screens. Well, I can tell them what we don't want to hear, more stories of waste. So when I re read that the reason one in ten prescriptions are unnecessary and that the reason for this waste is that patients are taking pills they no longer need, many unable to see a GP during the pandemic, and now a lack of face-to-face -face appointments means they are continuing with unnecessary treatment, it raises my blood pressure. So the thing I am now paying extra taxes in the main to support is the very institution that is chucking my cash at the wall because of overprescribing, because they can't be bothered to see people. It makes me wonder how much of this 12 billion that we are raising through our taxes will be wasted. These prescription primary care drugs cost the NHS almost 10 billion pounds a year, which means that almost 1 billion could be saved by stopping this nonsense. Professor Sir Stephen Powis, the national director for the NHS England, said reducing unnecessary prescriptions, which can ease the increase the risk of harm and cause unwanted side effects, is more important than ever. And a report showed that one in five hospital admissions for those over 65 was as a result of a drug side effect. I wonder how much more has been spent on fixing effects, in many cases long term, for overprescribing these things. Dennis Reed, he's the director of Silver Voices, he claimed that doctors often see pills as an easy fix. He also went on to say that if doctors had the time to address the underlying condition and could quickly get patients the treatment they need, there would be less need for drugs such as painkillers and antidepressants. Forgive me, but I thought that was their job. Forget broken. The NHS is making us broke and pumping more money into it, into it as a sticking plaster. We need to fix the underlying condition. Waste.